Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Padfoot TD Games. Wow, you are loud. Welcome back to Padfoot TD Games. My name is Zach. I'm the voice behind the icon. And first off, welcome back, everybody. It has been a long time since I've actually sat and recorded a video. We're talking probably about a month to a month and a half since I have actually recorded a brand new, fresh video. And that's because school has started up once again and going back to teaching and trying to get the shows um, that we're going to be doing this year off their feet. I have not been able to come and actually just sit and enjoy playing a game, let alone record a video. So we are here and we're here, as you can see, coming right into the station now. We're back here in Train Sim World, which is now Train Sim 2020. We are here with the Peninsula Corridor. California Dreamin'. Uh, I actually just clicked on it because I thought, hey, you know what? We'll get to the main menu and that's where I'm going to start it. I didn't know it was going to throw me right into the tutorial. So, E to the begin. This is on the Peninsula Corridor. Follow the markers over the footbridge to catch a train. Oh shit, is that the train we have to catch? Don't leave! I have not been prepared. Okay, fine. We'll go up the escalator that's not running. Feels good to be back, and I figured I wanted to start off this game because I really wanted to play this one. You guys know how I am with passenger trains. Don't you dare leave and make me have to start this over after I've started my video. <laughs> okay, jump down. That's fine. I love passenger trains when it comes to uh, train sim, and very excited when this came out. I know I'm a little late to it. We're the train by 1317. We barely made it here. Sit in an available seat. Okay, so you got the up, so you've got the down, so look. If I had Ella, I'd be sitting in Handicap, which technically should be this one, but that seat shouldn't be here. So let's just check this car. You've got... Oh my god, that leg room. Look at this! Look at this leg room! Jesus. Okay. No real proper handicap seats. That's okay. Oh, uh, gosh. You know what? We'll sit right here by ourselves. Not where I wanted to be. I became a passenger. I got 100 points just for that. Peninsula Corridor offers the ability to ride and drive both passenger and freight trains through the extensive urbanization of the San Francisco Bay Area. You are currently riding in a double-deck gallery car on a southbound service. These and all trains on the line are serviced at the Central Equipment Maintenance and Operations Facility. More dialogue. Trains cool. in World allows you to ride and drive trains from a selection of internal. If you're gonna be talking to me, really? Well, I didn't get all that. Look at this. Awesome. Not getting as bad frame rates as everybody kept on saying this game did. Other internal and external camera views are available to be explored. These can be accessed from the number keys. Awesome trains, man. Look at that. I love passenger trains. Uh, I'm sad that I don't think there's a lot of missions here, but I think we'll probably end up doing all the services, even if they're the same route over and over, just for the kick of it. Okay, I can't see anything from that one. Is this the free cam? I can't remember which one's free cam. Just trying to get crap out of my way on my office. All right, back to one. You've only traveled a short distance here, so let's take a look at what else there is to enjoy. Oh, okay, great. Welcome to the Bay of San Francisco. Take on the challenge of keeping a busy commuter service to schedule. Maintain the local construction industry with delivery of much needed materials. Enjoy the beauty of a sunset departure from San Jose Diridon, or service the hardworking train fleet maintained at the depot near Santa Clara. Along the way, be sure to place route maps, update tourist information, bring more ticket machines into use, and ensure public safety through additional no trespassing signs. Awesome side Choose missions. Passenger or freight operations and take a tour along the peninsula corridor. I love it. I think that's great. Cool. I that doesn't apply here. Thanks though. Very much thanks. You guys are gonna hear the audio going up and down. I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna be comfortable in this chair once again. Like I said, it's been a long time. Continue journey? Yeah, I guess so. I guess it's going to be a tutorial episode. Let's do it. 
Hope you guys are excited as I am for this game. I know that a lot of people are out there, <clears throat> excuse me, doing the, the kind of cash grab for it now because it is that popular thing that's out there, and uh, I, I can't blame them. Oh, is this a mission too? Or are we supposed to see it? I feel like we got to check some of these, but that coal run just takes so long. I think we cut it up into three episodes last time. All right. Hello, friend. Welcome to this F40 PH-2 cat diesel electric locomotive in Caltrain livery hauling Nippon Shario gallery cars. Jesus, yes. This brief introduction I will cover move. passenger operations and recovery from an emergency stop. Climb aboard to get started. Oh, really? You're not going to give me any freedom? I just... I just want to walk onto the track really quick. Oh, okay. This is complete tutorial-wise. I can't even walk that way. Okay. Oh, beautiful rig. Let's, let's climb on up. Open the door. Climb up the steps. I'm in the ceiling. A lot of time will be spent in the engineer's seat. The locomotive's auxiliary systems are now ready to be energized. Okay. Yeah, control field pump. Generator field. Give a quick glance of the platform to ensure all is safe. Then unlock the doors. Oh shit, I've got to remember, don't be hitting those. i got to remember how to look out. No, that's, those are the brakes. Oh, honestly, I don't remember. i got to remember all those buttons, but yeah, it looks good. Okay, loading passengers, that's a good step. Alright, we'll let them all get on. I just do I click on it out? Do I do I do I head out? Do I what do I do? Honestly. No. No. <laughs> Please no. Reverser's out anyways, but come on. I can't, I can't oh there we go. It's like I can't remember. Alright, we'll peek down that way. No idea. Oh gosh. Okay. Well, I see maybe a couple people coming on. Okay. Get my head back in if I remember how. <laughs> All right. It's time Close to get those, going. Those. Set the doors to locked. Yeah. Shut the window. Got to remember that. I did. Okay, thank you. The reverser is used to set the direction of travel. That was weird. Did that just pop out of there? The automatic brake is used for normal line operations. Yeah. Oh, this is actually new. I gotta remember this cutoff valve. And okay, we gotta remember that. Increase the throttle to start moving. Do not apply too much power too quickly. Just gonna remember where everything is. Where are my cab lights? Okay, you're not gonna let me do it then. Okay, I have a throttle three. Four dynamic brakes off. Okay, so what is it not telling me? Because we are definitely moving backwards. Okay, we all see this, correct? We're on three. And I have I have no control here. Reverser is forward. I I got nothing. Like, literally, we are just along for the ride. Seriously, I got nothing, guys. I've got, I've got no control here. Will you let me have any control at all? No? Okay, well, the throttle's the only thing it's giving me. Uh, 
Well, now we just keyboard mash until we find something that might actually work. I want views. Yeah, we've done everything. That's the problem. I've got nothing. Well, ain't that a bitch. Okay, well, you guys will see here in a second when we're back in the seat once again. All right. We're going to try this again. Forward. The automatic brake is used for normal line operations. Service. Lap. Holding. Release. Set the cutoff valve to in. In. Increase the throttle three. to start moving. Do not apply too much power too quickly. I hear the engine this time whirring. Jesus. Okay. Magic. All right, we are back on the road, everybody. Well, tracks. With the train now moving, use the throttle and the brakes to reach and maintain the indicated speed. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Yeah, I know. I can see your little little thing there. I gotta remember which way goes which. We're already going. That should be enough of a climb. Let's get that up to six, since the speed is what sixty something, sixty nine. I think it says sixty nine. All right, as we climb up the speed, look how pretty this is. Oh, yes, I remember how to do screenshots now. Always a little rusty. Especially since it's been a long time since we have uh, been in train sim. Oh, sweet, there's right up there, too. That's handy. Oh, there will be one day where we actually get rid of that display. Checking out everything else. Alright. Alright, I guess crank that shit up because I think that's what it wants us to do. So, off we go. Coasting is a method used to efficiently maintain speed and reduce engine stress and maintenance requirements. To operate the brakes, move the handle into service to achieve the desired pressure or braking rate, and once the desired pressure is reached, move the handle into lap to maintain it. Move the handle back to release to reset the system. So let's see, move the throttle on brake break to manage your speed. Well, that's what I did. Holding, lap, release. Lap, release. Okay, well, now we can go back up. Now it's 80. Making sure that that's back 100% where it should be. Stop at location. Apply a small amount oh, of brake force to achieve a comfortable, safe stop. Yeah, well, here's the problem. You didn't tell me that I was going to have to do that. Not emergency, you dick. Let's say, please don't go into a full reset. You want me to turn on the bell either? Fine. Be that way. Take all my fun away. Yeah, or the horn. What's the point of this tutorial, anyways? <laughs> I 
I know we're gonna overshoot it, and that's okay. I'm still learning. Unlock the right side. Those are the ones. It's, uh... Okay, can I not open the window on you? Well, we could earlier. So there's that, apparently. Okay. That's fun. We still got that much. I guess we do have a lot of air in there, but I really don't think we need to have it that drastic. Right, so we must be on timetable here. That's fine. I thought I saw. Stop. Oh, God, that camera. Okay. Don't miss that train anymore. <laughs> I thought there was a sign that says that it wants the locomotive in a certain spot, but we're at the track. You know, I guess that's fine. It's time to get going. Set the doors to locked. Nice. Now try operating the train to the next station without instruction. Be aware that an emergency stop will occur before reaching the next station. stop will occur. At least it told me. Okay, I have no idea. I have no idea how it's going to tell me or if it's going to tell me that I'm going to have to. Emergency stop. I don't want to hop outside. I don't know if it's something that we're actually going to have to look for, so we're going to have to stay inside on this one. I can actually crank that up already. I don't know why I stuck it to... Yeah, that's still too fast. Let's start with six. Get up a little faster. little frame rate drop. I mean, not as bad as it could be. What's good here? I like that I control the horn now, but... So is this what the whistle sounds are like? X crossing? X yeah, crossing. know what the Caltrain's going rhythm is. Ooh, that is a loud signal. Alright, I'm getting I'm getting weary because I feel like we're gonna have a yeah there it is. So some so it let itself go. Emergency brakes there. Put you in idle. Pretty quick stop time, so I'll give you that one. We should give you like a fake scenario though. Oh well. To recover the train from this situation, the controls must first be re- Use the independent brake to hold the train while air for the automatic brake is recharged. Huh, flashing yellow. The train has reset. Return to line speed as before and get ready to stop at the next station. Fantastic. Oh, you took away my horn again. Well, you dick. Very weird in what they give you uh, control over. All right, well, we got about a mile. 
Let's start. See, let's see if we can hit that 80. I don't. I don't think we're gonna hit 80 in uh, 1.5 miles. Let's see. Well, we can pop out now that we have a, like a little time. Take a chance taking. Oh my God, taking some of the scenery. <laughs> All right, let's crank that up to eight. I'm being quiet, sorry. I'm trying to... I still have to work at the same time that I get a chance to play, so... Bear with me on that one. One mile to go. I, don't, I think it's a thousand yards I need to stop this thing. Honestly, I don't know. Did I miss a crossing? Shit. Can't wait to have free marl on this train. I won't be able to open up that window. Also, I like how you can go 80, but the I bet you the train would eventually get there. Remember to apply the brakes early and gently so as to provide a comfortable ride for passengers. Yeah, I know. I've got to practice on that. Because now we're going to come to a stop before I even get there. Slowly creep ourselves forward. I can't turn on the bell, even though I really want to. I definitely don't want to go through that red light and have to do this tutorial over again, though. You guys are going to see a break. I'll be right back. Remember the buttons. Yeah. Yeah, fine. Fucking just emergency it. Sorry, I'm trying to get better at my language. My mistake. Well done. Practice. Good work. That concludes all the basics of this locomotive. Okay, cool. Can I get More out of details it? on the controls of this locomotive can be found in the manual. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> you don't give me a manual. <laughs> that's the problem. <laughs> okay, well, that's fun. E to continue. E, you know what? We will in another episode. I don't know how much they're actually going to uh, give us for this, but it looks like we're going to put it into another video. I know this one's probably a little bit shorter than expected, but... Um, <clears throat> Uh, I don't know what's going to be next. So, uh, welcome back to the channel, everybody. Welcome back to myself. Feeling really good about it. Once this video finally gets out, because I still got to edit it. That's the fun part. But that's going to do it for this one, guys. If you enjoyed what you saw, we do live stream on Twitch and we are on Instagram. Those links are down there in the description below. Let us know down in the comments what you think, what you might want to see in future videos, or what you might want to see on the channel. Always open to suggestions from you guys. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button, and if you want to show support, hit subscribe. It's always appreciated. Just lets us know that we're doing something awesome, uh, and that we're doing something right every time we get to see that number. And uh, we're at 160 right now, and what's been really nice is we were at 150 before I had to take this break, and we're at 160 now. So our channel is starting to find its concrete footing, which is fantastic. Wife Wednesday should be hopefully coming back sometime soon. We just got too busy during the summer, but we will find out. But with that, I thank you guys so much for coming out to this one, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.